played the new exciting anime game, My Hero Ultra Rumble. Now, you're going to be using quirks, aka power, as characters, and you're going to take on a fight as an assault, support, or disruption character in battle and make most of your strengths while compensating for your teammates' weaknesses. Speaking of teammates and weaknesses, they overcompensated for me as this was my first night playing this game with the winner in Sixer as we got a fantastic W in the books. Now listen, it was no feat to get to this point. I had to learn the basic trade of the game. One thing I highly recommend to do as you jump into this game is adjust the sound. Just go ahead and get rid of the fantastic music that the My Hero Ultra Rumble has put into the game so you can hear your enemies so they don't get a jump on you. You're gonna need to hear the movement and footsteps and all that great stuff because this map is quite small. This isn't Warzone or Fortnite where you may go 30 minutes without seeing anyone. No, they're right on top of you in the next center over so you'll be with a group of three and you'll be partnered randomized if you're going in there single wingle hey i get you man i'm doing that in real life as well let's touch some grass together but i digress listen my hero is actually super fun in the sense of you're using these quirks these powers against enemies and yeah some are a bit more op but some have specific things that you're gonna need in your team for example, the support class allows you to throw people into your pocket and kind of give them a heal over time. Now, your assault classes are going to be those more aggressive people that do a lot of damage. I was using Dabi for a quite some time, and his fireballs actually will track. And as you level up the powers of your characters, they become more powerful and bigger. Essentially, Dabi's fire was a really just a powerhouse that I could use. And again, I gotta say, I got carried big time by Winner and Sixer on our first dub. Not only is the art style of this game really, really cool, and it seems like it has some Shinobi Striker type feel to it with the movement at as well, and some of the powers and techniques that you can use. Essentially, you can use Sue and use a grappling hook, aka her tongue, and flip through buildings quite easily. Now, there's not only more characters that do this, essentially the movement in this game is kind of limitless, and each character probably has a tad bit more speed than others and you're gonna see that pretty aggressively as you play with different characters or fight different characters you're gonna be like whoa why is that technique way more powerful or why is that one faster and why is that character moving or jumping so much better all these characters have perks and weaknesses that essentially make the game very very fun you may have a very overpowered character but he may not be able to shoot his fire or hit as hard as another character or his movement is super slow right now this is a beta so this is not essentially going to be the starter as soon as you get into the game this is only going to last for a couple more days they're taking suggestions on things to fix and of course every game that is in a pre-development phase is going to have bugs essentially you're going to have weird frame drops you're gonna have music or sound effects that kind of pause out in the game and sometimes you'll have to dashboard and re-enter a main menu because there's just no one joining the lobby so keep that in mind as you're progressing through this that it is a beta and is not in its full development and they are taking recommendations and this is not all the characters that are going to be in the game as you actually get it when it's fully developed so tell me right now, who would you main in My Hero Academia? And let me know if you're playing this game right now as well. I see a few content creators throwing out great videos and I've been watching them trying to pick up tips and highlights. This game is not that hard to pick up and kind of be average at it because everybody's kind of in the progress to kind of get through it together. So right now is a good stage to go ahead and get a little bit of foundation skill so when the game finally comes out, you can be ahead of that curve when everybody else catches on. This game is going to be something in the future that you'll want to play.